Business Stat Chapter 6 Pre-Class Assignment Tutorial Question 1 Given the standard dice normal distribution with a mean of 0 and a standard deviation of 1, complete Part A through Part D. Part A, what is the probability that Z is less than 1.59? So here we're going to use the formula in Excel equal norm.s.disk bracket Z comma cumulative close bracket. So the S just means for standardized and the formula norm.s.disk will give us the probability of z less than a certain number. So in for part A, we're going to use equal norm.s.disk bracket 1.59, comma, true for cumulative, close bracket, equals, and then that gives us 0 0.944. Part B, what is the probability that z is greater than 1.83? So in part B, first we need to calculate the probability of z less than 1.83 using the formula equal norm dot s dot this bracket 1.83 comma true close bracket and that gives us 0 0.9664 that gives us the probability of z less than 1.83 and then what we do to find out the probability of z greater than 1.83 is we just take 1 minus 0 0.9664 and that gives us 0 0.0336, and that's part B. Part C, what is the probability that Z is between 1.59 and 1.83? So to calculate that probability, we need to first find out the probability of Z less than 1.83 using the Excel equal norm.s.des, which we did before, and we get 0 0.9664, and then we minus the probability of Z less than 1.59, which we calculated in part A, which is 0 0.944, and the difference between those two numbers is 0 0.0223. That's the probability between 1.59 and 1.83. Part D, what is the probability that Z is less than 1.59 or greater than 1.83? So what we're doing here is first we add the probability of Z less than 1.59, which we calculated in part A, which is 0 0.944. And then we add it to the probability of Z greater than 1.83, which we calculated in part B, which is 0 0.0336, and when we add these two numbers out, we get 0 0.9776, and that's part D.